University of Northern Colorado hit with some serious penalties. That's after reports that nine staff members from the team violated NCAA rules for academic fraud and recruiting. Our Dylan Thomas live in Greeley now, and Dylan, the school's president, addressed the investigation this afternoon. Dominic, we're told a confidential informant tipped off the university about all of this. Within a week of them learning about this back in 2016, they handed their investigation over to the NCAA. Today, we sat down with the school's president, who tells us the former head coach, B.J. Hill, felt an obligation to be as successful as Tad Boyle, who would go on to coach at CU. In 2016, UNC officials were notified nine men's basketball staff members, including the head coach, assisted recruits in schoolwork. As soon as we determined that there seemed to be credibility to the allegations, we uh, called in the uh, NCAA. University President Kay Norton tells CBS4 the staff members, including former head coach B.J. Hill, had committed several NCAA violations, including signing up for online classes for kids and completing the coursework themselves. So it was academic fraud. The university says Hill and other staff members felt so pressured to win, he was willing to do whatever it took Several of the talented yet academically unqualified students would make the team. In a joint investigation with NCAA, the allegations were confirmed. Immediately, the university fired all staff members involved and even imposed their own penalties. But that wasn't enough for the NCAA. They announced Friday further penalties, including a revocation of the school's 2011 conference title, a mistake which the university says was never acceptable. And that is where things went really wrong. Um, here at UNC when coaches thought that the only thing that mattered was winning. The NCAA's further punishments included fines and penalties on the school scholarships and more. The university tells us as of today, only one person from this entire ordeal is still at the university, and that's one of the players who is still on the, on the team. We're live in Greeley. Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you.